Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be, sorry, I'm moving some bags around. All right, I'm gonna be doing a little grocery haul slash meal prep for you guys. So um, yeah, we went to Walmart the other day and got some stuff. Uh, I wanna show you guys what we got. <clears throat> so, we never have like super, like a lot of snacky foods because we both go to the grocery store with a list and we never put snacky foods on the list. So then we end up not buying snacky foods. So then when we're at home and we crave snacky foods, we get sad. But I saw these and I wanted to grab some veggie straws. They're so good. I already got into them. Um, some mashed potatoes. These instant mashed potatoes are the best brand you can get. They are so good. So easy to make. Minced garlic for one of my recipes this week, as well as an onion and a pepper. And then we have rolls for the meal prep, one of the meal preps that we're doing this week. I needed chicken and beef broth. And then I had to get some cornstarch for one of the recipes. Some Worcestershire sauce for one of the recipes. Cream of chicken soup. And I needed to get cooking spray because I have not gotten any of that yet. And we were in the aisle and I saw it and I was like, oh, I actually need that. So then I've been really craving like Lunchables and stuff. So I got some Lunchables to snack on. Um, just the pizza, cheese pizza ones and the nacho ones, my favorite. And then... I got some chicken breasts for one of our recipes, which I think we're gonna do tonight for dinner. Um, and then I got some beef loin just to cook. I was gonna do this with like roasted potatoes and like a vegetable, but I forgot to buy potatoes and then I we went to Target, they didn't have any potatoes. And then I got some ground turkey because I'm gonna be making a Philly cheese steak sloppy joe so that's what this is for and basically i'm gonna cook everything today because we don't have like a busy week but i'm like so out of energy by the time i get home that sometimes i don't want to cook and i feel like if everything's already cooked for us then we won't feel obligated or like willing to eat out as much like doordash and stuff so that's our goal for this week, watch out. Um, and then Spencer just got some bagel bites because he gets off kind of early sometimes, so he uses that as like a lunch, like snack when he gets home. And then I also bought beef raviolis, but I forgot mm -hmm. to check one of the bags before I left because we got home and I had to run somewhere and I left them out all night and they thawed and they got gross. So we gotta buy some more of those. And basically um, what I do with that is just a really good meal. You guys won't probably see it because I'm probably gonna make it Friday night maybe, maybe Wednesday night. Look at these things. But you, it's just beef ravioli and then I mix ricotta cheese and sauce and sprinkle some cheese on top and then I just bake it. So it's really good. It's almost like a baked ziti but with ravioli. So. Better. Big CD is disgusting. Whatever. But today's really nice out. We took Duke for a walk today. And my cousin's son made it to a cha his championship hockey game today, which is only right down the street from us. So I think we're going to go ahead and go to that later. But I'm going to go ahead and cook this meal for you guys. So let me put my phone to my pocket. Um, let's see here. So the first recipe that I'm going to be making, one is a crock pot recipe, which I really like because you can just put everything in one pot and just leave it for the day. So, I'm so tired. Okay. The first recipe that I'm making well, I don't know. So one of the recipes I'm making is this cheesesteak sloppy joes. And 
they look so good. I was just like, oh my gosh, these look fire. I gotta try them. And Spencer will eat them. He just won't eat the uh, peppers and onions. So I'm gonna put peppers and onions in only half of it because I know he won't eat it in there. So, but they just look delicious. Vegetables are gross. Whatever, Spencer. And then I figured if we had like leftover, like in like um, the filling and stuff, and we didn't really want the rolls, they have a Philly cheesesteak quesadilla, which you could easily put in a quesadilla. And I was like, that sounds good. Um, and then the other meal I'm making, if I can find it here, is I'm so tired. Uh, slow cooker chicken and rice. So that's what I think we're going to have for dinner tonight. And then I'm just going to cook those beef tips. And then I'll probably serve it with the mashed potatoes. Spencer won't eat mashed potatoes, so I'll probably do mac and cheese for him for that night. Um, because it's something that he can make when he gets home. Um, or like when I get home for dinner. And the mashed potatoes literally take two seconds to make. So I won't make those ahead of time. And I'll probably pair it with some mixed vegetables or something like that. I don't know, I have corn too and some green beans, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready and then we'll get started. All right, so the first thing I'm prepping are just these beef stew, stewing, whatever, I don't know. So I'm just gonna bake these. Um, I don't think these are the same like beef things that I have bought in before, but we'll see. Um, they look good. So I'm just gonna season these with some garlic salt and pepper and yeah. at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes or so till they're done I guess um, but that's pretty much it for that <clears throat> all right so now I'm making the Philly cheesesteak sloppy joe so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this until it's cooked through and I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on it and then I'm gonna remove it and then add all the extra stuff. All right, so I just took the meat out of the pan and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter to the pan here and give that a good stir. I salt the pan on medium heat. I'm making a mess. Go ahead and get that all melted in here. You gotta leave here every 20 minutes. You won't do your drink. Mm -hmm. Huh? So now I'm adding the peppers and onions to the pan and I'm just going to saute these for about four minutes. Most of my onion was bad. Um, thanks Walmart. So I couldn't use most of it so there's not too many but that's okay. I uh, got Spencer to agree could at least have it in the dish um, so I don't have to split it up or anything like that. Same with the peppers. So I'm trying to get him to eat more vegetables. So we'll see. Alright, so now I'm going to be adding the 
beef broth. So I'm just gonna use garlic powder. It says you can use either or. And um, I just feel like this will have more of like a mild taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat back. I have my stove on low. that in with my peppers and onions and then I'm going to be adding my garlic powder which is one fourth teaspoon which I'm sure I have here so one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder And then we are going to be doing one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. do a half a cup of beef broth. adding one tablespoon yeah you can that up one tablespoon of cornstarch so my camera died of course um but I just added the um cornstarch and just gave this like a nice good mix and it looks so good so now I'm gonna go ahead so the recipe calls for either American sliced cheese or you could do like Swiss sliced cheese. I think it calls for four. I'm gonna go ahead and put maybe two extra in, like six, because we both like super cheesy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these cheese slices in and mix it all together. And we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is the Philly cheesesteak Sloppy Joe finished. This looks so good. It smells like 10 times better. I just dropped an onion on dude's head. Sorry, bub. Um, it smells like 10 times better. It's so good. Oh, I can't wait to eat this for dinner. And then I have the meat done, so I just gotta grab that out really quick. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Here are the beef tips that all done. They look so good. They smell good. And I think this will be a nice little easy quick dinner. So I'm so excited to try these as well. All right, so now I'm making the chicken and rice creamy crock pot dinner, and we're actually gonna have that tonight for dinner. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use all three um, chicken breast, um, just because why not? They're not that big, so.
This is gonna cook on high for three and a half to four hours and it already smells so good. So I'm so excited to try it. All right, so it's been about three and a half hours and this looks done. So now I'm going to add two cups of cheese to this, stir it around and let it cook on low for about another five minutes. All right, so this is all done. The cheese is all melted and I just stirred it around. It looks so good. It smells so delicious. And I'm so excited to try this. And it looks like it's gonna be, we're gonna have quite a few leftovers, which is nice for lunches. So yeah, it looks really good. So that's everything we cooked for dinner this week um, that I meal prepped. So I'm so excited um, to try everything and hopefully everything tastes good. And um we stick with it and eat everything we have i know we are we do have dinner plans on thursday um after my ultrasound so we're gonna go out to dinner thursday but we pretty much have all our meals planned and prepped for the rest of the week so i'm excited to see how less stressful that's gonna be for me but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this little vlog for you guys thank you so much for watching as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.